More Football Friday coming up. Steve Young had several concussions during his days in the NFL, including the one that ended his career. Coming up, a new device will help one team diagnose concussions almost immediately after they happen. The concussion that claimed part of Trent Green's season last year helped underscore the seriousness of the problems with head trauma in the NFL. Green, just the latest in a long line of players who've seen their careers affected by brain injury and post-concussion syndrome. The NFL responded this offseason with new measures designed to protect its players. Among them, informational pamphlets provided for players and their families, confidential hotline for players forced to practice or play against medical advice, and the league also mandated that NFL and Players Association doctors issue guidelines to determine when players can return to the field and require that neurophysical testing be expanded for all NFL players. And our next guest is at the forefront of medical technology involving brain trauma. He is Dr. Eric Bailey, inventor of the Ceratom, the world's first portable CT scanner. And Dr. Bailey, first of all, what is this device? It's a miniaturized CAT scanner that's portable so that you can bring the device to the sick patient instead of bringing the patient to the device. Obviously, the neat thing here is that it allows you to take it into areas where you have people you can't move or may be constrained by some sort of purpose. The Raiders are the first NFL team to employ your device. They've actually started using it this preseason and will be using it throughout the regular season. What does it allow football teams to do that they couldn't do before? Well, I think it's great. Uh, the whole Raiders organization has adopted this from the owner on down. And that they're, they're worried about brain injury, quite frankly. Concussions, obviously it's a contact sport. And there are many dangers into skull fractures, bleeding in the brain, and concussions that could cause permanent damage later on. The Raiders want to be able to diagnose that on the field, real time. Mm -hmm. what, what does that allow them to do in terms of things that they couldn't do before with this technology? I think the, the I, I heard Joe Theismann once say that it, it brings, they need something better than how many fingers am I holding up? Right. To really determine, is, is this person really okay? Should this person go back into the game? particularly expensive players like quarterbacks, which you have a lot of investment. I think it's, it's great to have a quick analysis to make sure that that player will not be further hurt once they get back on the field. This seems like such a logical progression in terms of technology and such a beneficial product. Why do you think only one NFL team has signed up to use it? Well, I think there's also some controversy here. Uh, first of all, uh, it, you know, can this be an effective device? Can it be used on field? You know, how, how quickly can they move players in and out of this? And I, I think this is the, the whole league is looking at the Raiders and potentially a couple of other teams who are maybe close to signing as an evaluation unit. And uh, looking at it for the season, if it is an effective piece of medicine for them, I think that they may permanently adopt it. How does it work specifically? Um, basically, it works like the very large CAT skin or MRIs you hear about when you go to the hospital, except for this device, you sort of stick your head in a small donut and in about 30 seconds it takes x-rays from around your head and now can see a full three-dimensional picture basically inside of your brain and, and evaluate all kinds of possible ailments. I know your motivation for inventing this was very personal. Did you share that story? Well, I, I suffered uh, from traumatic brain injury and in that I lost my brother to a traumatic brain injury in the mountains of New Hampshire um, where he was brought to a very small hospital that couldn't even afford the large uh, million dollar plus CAT scanning technology and it was from that moment on that I knew I wanted to invent something that was inexpensive and portable that I could bring to places like Africa and the third world and, and our own rural places in the United States. What's the long-term benefit to utilizing this product, particularly in a situation like the NFL? I think the long-term benefit is almost something similar to what we've got out of car racing through through all the innovation in car racing, it's made our own personal cars safe. Uh, there's so much traumatic brain injury is the number four killer in the United States. It affects primarily young people, our children. What can be learned here on the football field, where we sort of had a test tube for traumatic brain injury, I think will benefit mankind in general. All right. Dr. Eric Bailey, inventor of the Ceratom. Thanks a lot for joining us here on Football Friday. Thank you.